I was diagnosed with uh, prostate cancer a little over two and a half years ago. Through our son Rex, who has um, pilocytic astrocytoma, which is a type of brain cancer. In 2006, I was diagnosed with ALL. The following year, I had a transplant. I got cancer when I was like four or three, and it was ALL, and it made me feel very sick and I didn't feel so well. I was diagnosed with mantle cell lymphoma. February 11, 2005, when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, 12 years ago, my husband died with colon cancer. I was diagnosed with a, uh, another rare form of lymphoma uh, that's called Waldenstrom's. Life would have been a lot harder and lonelier and uh, Without St. Jude and Cancer Services, I don't know where our family will be right now. Without them, I can honestly say I would not be in this position that I am now. Instead, I, I'm almost afraid to think of where I would be without Cancer Services. If it weren't for Cancer Services, uh, the two and a half years that Daniela spent in treatment, I can imagine uh, I lost, we would have been. I'm one of the best group of people I've ever been around. They're so caring. I look forward to coming here every Tuesday and every Thursday, not only to help others, to be with the employees here. The staff, everybody is wonderful. They're great. I love everyone. The support there is just absolutely wonderful. We. We're such a close group and we do help each other. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have cancer services. Although I had a strong support system from my family and friends, without cancer services, I don't know what I would have done. We did not know anyone who had children with cancer and I don't know what we would have done. It's been such a big help. Uh, Uh, my name is Matt Colvin and I have the privilege of serving as president of the Board of Directors of Cancer Services of Greater Baton Rouge where it is our mission to improve the lives of those who are living through a cancer diagnosis. Uh, I'll give you a few numbers. We're about 53 years strong. Uh, we serve over 4,000 individuals and families every year uh, over a 10 parish service area. Baton Rouge being sort of the center of that 10 parish service area. Uh, we offer our services under two main umbrellas, direct assistance and support. Under direct assistance, uh, there's a number of ways that we can help there as well. Uh, there is financial support that we can provide if you qualify for it uh, that can help uh, get you from point A to point B. Sometimes folks need help uh, financially getting from their house to their treatment center. Uh, we can help provide the reimbursement for gasoline. We can provide the cost of travel for you. Uh, we can help with uh, nutritional support as well. We can provide boost as well as a range of other uh, nutritional and dietary supplements that can help you uh, get those much needed calories back in your system after going through those harsh treatments. We offer a range of services. Uh, we're the only local organization that provides physical, emotional, financial, uh, as well as dietary supplement sources. We found out that you could um, get six months supply worth of boost through cancer services. We had no um, connection. Idea. Cancer services has a full service library fully stocked with literature from every various kind of cancer. We offer a full service wig boutique so women can come and choose a wig uh, that best fits them and their style while they're going through their chemotherapy and radiation treatments. Uh, we also offer a full range of medical supplies and equipment completely free of charge while individuals are going through their treatment. I needed some uh, undergarments and they supplied me with a whole bunch of undergarments and uh, we did that twice. We also offer free exercise programs for all cancer survivors. After participating in the breast cancer support group, 
Gloria said that we needed to get together and just do something for cancer survivors as far as an exercise program. And I was all game because I have always been athletically and an athlete and I wanted to just continue working out even though I was going through treatment. So once she got the ball the rolling on September 20th, 2007, it was a done deal. We had our first exercise class and it was called Fit and Fearless. And I have been participating in that class since 2007. And as a matter of fact, this is going on our seventh year and it, it has been just wonderful. Just being there, the instructor is just outstanding and the class and participants, we're all like one big family. Uh, the other side of the, of the coin is the support side and there's a range of support groups, uh, well over 50 support groups that, uh, that we offer that meet every single month. It's just a group of people that come to talk about their problems and uh, their good fortunes and uh, socialize and uh, it's, it's an open session where you can talk about anything you want to talk about. If you have not walked in those shoes, you don't know how it feels. And so I've been in the support group now for 12 years to help others and also it's helped me. Um, it just makes you feel so norm normal when you're in a social situation and we just appreciate everything that the Cancer Services does in that area. The, um, when you're together with a group of people like yourself, it just, you forget about yourself and start thinking about them. I attend a group session on the third Wednesday of every month. It's like a continuation of the, the network and the family and you've always got somebody you can talk to whether it's parents you've met or there's so many wonderful people here everyone there is just so kind and wonderful if you're feeling down they can uplift you they're just there for you 